Well, good morning, Audacious Church. It's a sunny day here where I am. I don't know what it's like where you are, but we're going to start our day as we always do with reading the Word of God. You know that we are in the middle of a series for our devotions all about relationships, and we've been looking at different types of relationships and lessons that we can learn about our relationships through these Bible examples. Today's key verse is from Genesis 33, and it's about a brother relationship, a brother to brother relationship, but possibly not the most well-known um, part of the story for you. So it says this in Genesis 33, verse three, it says, then Jacob, there's a clue, these two brothers, Jacob and Esau, then Jacob went on ahead and has, as he approached his brother, he bowed down to the ground seven times before him. Then Esau, the other brother, ran to meet him and embraced him, threw his arms around him and kissed him and they both wept. As part of our series today, I wanna to create a moment for each of us to believe again for restoration. Relationship breakdown is inevitable and it's also quite difficult. The pain can be so hard to deal with that we give up all hope of any kind of restoration in those relationships. And today's Bible verse is proof that God can restore any broken relationship, even yours. Everybody knows that Jacob and Esau had a turbulent relationship. Jacob famously tricks his brother out of his birthright. And then he proceeds to trick his own father into blessing him instead of his older brother. And there have been a thousand sermons preached about lessons we can learn from that, from their dysfunction. But rarely do we hear messages or anything about their resolution. And that's what these Bible verses are today in Genesis 33. We see this incredible moment where two estranged brothers reunite and their relationship is fully restored and their hearts are healed. If God can do that for these two broken brothers, how much more can he do it for you in your life and for your relationships? It's hard to have faith for restoration in the context of broken relationships, hurt, pain, offense, unforgiveness, rule, and the idea that something could change is almost impossible to believe for. Too many things have been said, too much time has passed, no one seems willing to change or compromise, and so we just accept broken relationships as a fact of life, and we give up all hope of restoration. But I want you to think right now of any broken relationship in your life and then reread those verses from the top of the page and ask God to give you faith to believe for a change. You'll notice a present humility and a taking of responsibility from both sides that God uses to reconnect two people that were never meant to be apart. Jacob went towards Esau, the Bible says. Esau ran towards Jacob, representing their willingness to forgive and in humility, rebuild. God wants the same for you and it starts today. Why don't you ask him to give you the grace and the faith and the humility and forgiveness to go again with any relationship that has broken down. And I'm believing for full restoration, full healing and stories, testimonies of how God came through, not just restoring to a former glory, but making it even better than you could have ever imagined before. Have a brilliant day, be brave, you do what Jacob did, run towards and let God do the rest. Have a brilliant day, church. We love you. See you soon.